Dan Elman, Mike Beer, kicking off the 50 cent late pick five at Saratoga on Traverse Saturday with the grade one H. Allen Jerkins Memorial. Let's take a look at this field. This is really the signature race for three year old sprinters. We're going seven eighths of a mile. Not only is it the rubber match between the two Jackies Warrior and the one drain the clock, but you get the return to the races for the number six, Life is Good, who earned a 107 buyer speed figure as a March three-year-old before going to the sidelines. He's now with Todd Pletcher. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't I don't know that this is necessarily a great betting race, Dan. To me, um, there's not a race on this card that I'm more excited to see. Um, just this, I want to just watch what happens between Jackie's Warrior, who just feels like the, you know, the best three-year-old sprinter in the country, and Life is Good, who I think everybody sort of realizes was probably going to be the Derby favorite and probably the Derby winner earlier this year before he was sidelined. Let's throw up the time form U.S. pace projector. We know Jackie's Warrior loves to go to the front. He is likely to make the lead. Now, he might have to go fast in the early portion of this race. Going fast hasn't been a problem for Jackie's Warrior. He went fast last time out in the Amsterdam over a sloppy track, and he buried him. Yeah, you don't worry about uh, you know how, how they're going to ride this horse. He's going to come out of there with speed. Assuming he breaks, he had trouble at the start two starts back in the Woody Stevens, uh, but that wasn't a problem last time. I mean, he didn't even look like he was, they didn't even look like they were really going, Dan. He went 43 and just ran away mm -hmm. from that field. This horse is really good. And if he breaks, he's probably going to be on the lead again. The one drain the clock took advantage of Jackie's Warriors stutter step start in the Woody Stevens to win and a game performance going seven eighths. I mean, Jackie's Warrior did eventually make the lead. Drain the clock never let him get away, though, and he eventually wore down Jackie's Warrior at the wire. In the Amsterdam, he tried to go with Jackie's Warrior. He raced him for the first three eighths and Jackie's Warrior left him in the dust entering the turn. Yeah, it wasn't, it was no match last time. It was a sloppy track, um, you know, drain the clock could certainly, I suppose, use that as an excuse, Dan. He did last for second, you know, very, very far behind in this race. There's Jackie's Warrior. He's already taken this thing over. Jackie's Warrior took this race over um, entering the far turn and you can just see Joel Rosario. I mean, he never asked him, just sitting chilly all through the stretch, Dan. This was very impressive from Jackie's Warrior. Drain the clock did his best. Um, if you want to give him the excuse and say it was a wet track that, you know, worked against him, he certainly ran a race two starts back that would give him a chance in here. And Jackie's Warrior reaffirmed his affinity for Saratoga. Of course, he won the hopeful last year over this course and distance. The win in the Amsterdam made it three for three. And he is, again, the horse to catch and beat. Just very, very impressive. Uh, a brilliant early turn of foot. Even money on the morning line. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what we get from life is good from a tactical speed standpoint. Because if Jackie's Warrior is three in front on the far turn, I don't know if anybody's catching yeah. It's going to be hard to catch this horse. Um, he's going to, either way, and, and listen, maybe life is good is as advertised, um, but he's going to have to, you know, be 100% fit, I think, to to make a race of it with Jackie's War. This horse is going to take a ton of beating in here, Dan. He's really fast. Seven furlongs is no problem for him. He's coming off the best race of his life. Um, and he's got the recency edge on the horse who feels like the horse to be. Kelly Breen's done a nice job with an ex Pletcher trainee, the number three new bomb. Let's watch his win earlier in the Saratoga meet, a non-winners of one other than. He was uh, pretty uh, aggressively ridden to get up close to the pace in here, Mike, and he just is very comfortable in the stretch. He really rolls away from them the last eighth of a mile. I love the way he picked it up at about the eighth pole. He earned an 85 buyer, and let's be honest, he's going to have to improve maybe 15 points to, to handle Jackie's warrior. If that one comes on his A game, life is good as well. Yeah, I mean, it's just a tough spot for him. This horse is actually pretty good. He ran well in both of his starts um, last year as a two-year-old, even though he didn't win those races. He's now two for three this year. Um, really impressive win last time, but it's not an effort that makes him all that competitive versus this field. Following C earned a triple digit buyer speed figure sprinting two starts back at Belmont, and then they were aggressive. They ran him in the Haskell. He showed the early way, and then he tired uh, very badly against some of the better three year olds in the country. I'd probably draw a line through that race. He's going to be a good price in here for Prolecture and Velasquez, yeah. and I guess that fig from two back puts him somewhat in the mix. Yeah, I agree. I mean, are we so sure that this horse can't be competitive in here as he cuts back to sprint again? I mean, his his wins two and three back. I know that they weren't, you know, perhaps the strongest fields in the world, uh, but those are fast races. And this horse was never asked for his best in those. Um, he looks like he has a ton of potential and cutting back maybe just what he wants. Speaking of a fast race, let's look at the New York bread. 
the five judge and jury going out for Danny Gargan. He wins at Saratoga going seven. And this is his first start off of a lengthy layoff. He earned a 99 buyer speed figure in beating some older horses. This is a really strong effort from judge and jury. The way you like to see them win, especially off of the layoff. Now, of course, this is a huge step up in class. But again, from a figure standpoint, he's not too far away. Yeah, agreed. I mean, he just buried this field. This was a nice performance. The figure says he's a contender right back. I want to see it to believe it. Life is good. Was trained by Baffert for his first three starts. He won them all, including this race, the grade two San Felipe, which is a really fascinating race to watch in Formulator because Medina Spirit, they took a hold of him going into the first turn. That allowed Life is Good to shake loose. And when Life is Good in the form he was in at that point shook loose, he was just way too much for Medina Spirit, who, of course, would finish first in the Kentucky Derby. 107 buyer, the drifting out in the stretch might have been a harbinger that something wasn't completely right. And now he's coming off of a long layoff. But I don't mind this spot for Todd. And drawing outside gives Mike Smith some options. If Drain the Clock tries the same tactics he tried last time out with Jackie's Warrior, maybe life is good sitting in the catbird seat. Yeah, it'll be it'll be interesting to see what they do. You know he's going to be forward in here. I don't know if they're actually going to go after the lead early in this race, but we'll see what they do. This horse, just based on his first three starts, um, he might be the most talented three-year-old in the country, Dan. This horse running fast races very early on in the year, and unfortunately he was sidelined. He's back now. Um, I can't wait to see him run. I think he gives away a lot to a horse like Jackie's Warrior just coming back in this spot. But are you really going to be surprised if this horse comes back firing and runs a huge race? Not at all. That's why I picked him on top as we take a look at our top selections for this race. Pletcher excels off layoffs. I think he has life is good, good again. And I'm curious to see what we get from him off the layoff, as everyone is. Jackie's Warriors just blitzed him thus far, Mike, and he has the recency advantage. And he might have the advantage simply because he's a sprinter and life is good might be better going two turns. Yeah, that's. I'm going to take Jackie's Warrior in here. Um, he'll probably be the favorite. I think he should be. Um, I, I'm very interested to see what life is good does, Dan, but he better have him nailed on tight on Saturday. This will be a war. Two, six, four, one, four, Mike, six, five, two, one for me, the Allen Jerkins Memorial. This race could have a major impact on where some of these horses go down the road, whether it be Breeders' Cup Sprint, Breeders' Cup Mile, and the whole three-year-old division as a whole.